The next greetings that we have tonight come from former U.S. Congressman Cornelius Gallagher, who represented the state of New Jersey in the House of Representatives from 1958 to 1972. Congressman Gallagher was a close, personal friend of President Kennedy's and an equally close political ally. He was the primary sponsor of the Peace Corps Act, on top of being responsible for the creation of the Freedom of Information Act in his capacity as a member of the Congressional Privacy Subcommittee. Congressman Gallagher was so close to President Kennedy that he was asked to accompany the Speaker of the House to the airport on the day that the President was shot to receive the coffin as it arrived back from Dallas. In an interview that he delivered earlier this year, Congressman Gallagher describes seeing Bobby Kennedy pacing, walking alone, crying all by himself as he waited for the plane to come in. He walked over and silently put his arm around Bobby. And he remembers him saying, I don't know what happened, but I know that old man's hand is in this someplace, referring to J. Edgar Hoover. Gallagher went on in later years in his continuing courageous career in Congress to challenge Hoover directly on the issue of government surveillance of American citizens. Congressman Gallagher is now 92 years of age, and he couldn't make the trip down here from New Jersey, but he recorded an audio that he would like us to hear from him now. Directly after the audio, the music will begin. I'm delighted to participate with you in the Mozart Requiem celebrating the life of uh, President uh, John Kennedy. Uh, just the mention of it uh, uh, seems like uh, yesterday rather than uh, the 50 years that we now commemorate. I was very fortunate in uh, having uh, time to know President Kennedy before he was president and uh, up until the time when uh, his unfortunate uh, death occurred. Uh, he was a, a wonderful friend. He was a great leader. The question is whether or not he was a great president. Maybe his time was too short to evaluate the greatness of his presidency uh, at this point in history. Certainly he was a great man. Few men in history really are touched with greatness, uh, which we all know to be a combination of, uh, of, of many talents, wisdom, courage, knowledge, and purpose and dedication and understanding and the compassion that he had in abundance. I certainly think that showed early in his life when, uh, when his uh, uh, boat was uh, crashed into when he went back saving the lives of his crewmen rather than worrying about his, his own life. I think that uh, was a, a sign of uh, the, the kind of man that he was and uh, grew to be. We live in difficult times now and of course we lived in difficult times then. They were perilous times. Uh, Times uh, where power had the, consisted of power with the, in the hands of people, of the awesome weapons, uh, uh, the most off, off, awesome weapons ever created by man to destroy mankind. Kennedy had a feeling that we had to find ways of peace to live with each other. In a land of plenty, he sought a a good, and he sought an equal share for, for the goods for all men, to aid the, aid, to aid the aged, to care for the ill, 
to educate the illiterate, to assist the underprivileged, to guarantee the constitutional rights of every citizen, which I might say are seriously under attack today as we develop into this police state that is not based on the hope that Kennedy gave. It's based on fear. It's based on fear and maybe the inability of America to participate in uh, the kind of world that we now find ourselves. And yet, if we look back at uh, President Kennedy, his greatest contribution certainly was providing hope to all of us. Uh, we were a generation that came out of the war, whether you were a, a private or a five-star general, I think the common thread was is that we all had a responsibility toward our country and when we were needed, we filled that responsibility. I think that was a common thread that uh, ran through America during the days of uh, John Kennedy. And I think he symbolized that. Uh, we all looked up to him, whether we agreed with him politically or not. People looked up to him. He, he represented what the America was that uh, we all hoped it would be, and he was our leader. And I guess that was really the, the real problem of, uh, that occurred upon his death. Suddenly, this vibrant, strong, good-looking, intellectual man, our leader, was struck down in a matter of minutes. I think one of the things that we all shared then was our own mortality. And while he gave us the hope, the commonality of hope for all men, he also, his death uh, dashed our own uh, view of life and the need to participate in life uh, before our own mortality keep, uh, kicked in as it did so suddenly with, the, with Jack Kennedy. We, we look upon the question of terrorism today, which is certainly a very serious uh, condition in the world. But uh, in those days, we, we had communism, and, and uh, we had the Cold War and the ability to destroy the entire world on a misjudgment by one of the leaders who possessed that power. I think Kennedy's greatest contribution was showing that America would resist, could resist, and would f and the ability to fight back intellectually to prevent such a war. I would really hope that uh, in, these days, in these days of the war on terror, that we would look at the strength of America and try to find that common thread of our own courage, of our own desire to find a peaceful way out of this uh, war on terror that the effects of which are devastating to the rights and liberties of uh, every citizen in the United States. Maybe it's time to think of, uh, of an international gathering uh, to find out what really are the gripes around the world, to see whether or not we cannot bring reason and, and intellectual reason and intellectual power to zero in on the problem exactly the way that John Kennedy uh, brought together those people in the world, his meeting of Khrushchev, the showing of the ability of America to resist, but also the ability of the United States to find reason to perpetuate the human race on this earth. So as we commemorate, and I want to certainly compliment the, your group on this requiem, and as we celebrate the sadness of it all, I think it's time also to think about the, the good part of America the good part that was in the days of the hope of John Kennedy and hope that we can reinstate that hope for the young people in this country so that the dream of Kennedy of a free United States, the ability to participate in equality for all men and all people, I think is the dream that uh, I believe that we will reawaken uh, as we also pass along our great concern for the death of John Kennedy, a great man, a dear friend, 
and someone that the American public would like to see stem from his death the beginning of a new way of the American fight for its liberty, its freedom, and for the people in this country of the United States that descended uh, from that sad day in Dallas. So once again, I thank you very much for inviting me to participate. I certainly have great admiration for the great work that you all do, and especially renewing the Day of Hope on the day that we commemorate the death of John Kennedy. And may we all find a way in peace and the contribution that you are all making certainly is leading the way in that direction.